A servo motor is a small DC motor packaged with gears and circuitry that allows for more precise control over the motor's rotation. One advantage of using a servo motor is that it needs very little current, so the micro bit can drive it directly. Continuous servo motors are different from regular micro servo motors as they cannot move to any arbitrary angle, but can be controlled to move continuously in either direction. The input leads are ground, voltage, and signal, with a pin out matching the breakout board exactly. To connect the servo motor to pin 0, match the colors of the wires with the colors on the pin 0 port. Note that colors may not match exactly. Alternatively, you can use jumper wires to connect the servo motor directly without the use of the breakout board. Search for the continuous servo extension in MakeCode and add it to your project. Create an on button A pressed function. Under the continuous servo drawer, use the spin one way pin block and set the output pin to pin 0. Create an on button B pressed function and under the continuous servo drawer, select the spin other way pin block. Finally, create an on button A plus B pressed function and under the continuous servo drawer, select the turn off motor at pin block. Alternatively, you can use the servo right pin block found in the pins drawer, though these may be less intuitive. A value of 180 will cause the motor to spin indefinitely in one direction, and a value of 0 will cause the motor to spin indefinitely in the opposite direction. A value of 90 will stop the motor's movement. Note that continuous regular servo motors do not have 180 degree limits. When button A is pressed, the servo motor spins indefinitely in one direction, and when button B is pressed, it spins indefinitely in the opposite direction. When both buttons are pressed, the motor stops moving completely.